guys welcome back to techdoz and in this video we will see find the maximum length of valid subsequence one problem which is from lead code number 3201 let's now look at the problem statement in this problem you are given an integer array nums a subsequence sub of nums with length x is called valid if it satisfies that the two adjacent numbers mod of 2 are always equal on a sliding window what does this mean if you take this 1 2 3 4 and try to generate a subsequence out of it then let's say your subsequence is 1 2 3 4 itself now if you take a sliding window of size 2 that means you take the first two items in this subsequence and take the mod of 2 the mod of 2 with any value v will always give you the result equals to either 0 or 1 okay so in this case if you add this 1 and 2 it is coming out to be 3 mod of 2 will be 1 why because 3 is a odd number right so that is why the value is going to be 1 now if you slide this window one time to the right the subsequence at 0 plus subsequence at 1 will change to subsequence at 1 plus subsequence at 2 so take this window now so in this window you have lost 1 and you have added another 3 okay so whatever value you had got it was an odd odd equivalent because the sum that you had got by adding 0th and the first item was equals to an odd number so when you were losing an odd number from the left hand side you must add an odd number on the right hand side that must happen because you should know that odd number plus odd number will always be equals to even number and odd plus even or even plus odd in both the scenarios you will always get an odd number okay so since by adding two numbers a and b if you take mod of 2 it is coming out to be 1 this means that a plus b must be equals to odd which means one of them must be even number and one of them must be odd number i don't care which one of them is odd or even but if out of these two numbers if you are losing an odd number then an odd number has to be added on the right hand side okay so when you are sliding the window by one time then you are adding an odd number so this being an even number if you add it up again the mod of 2 value is going to come as 1 and if you slide it one more time then you are losing an even number so you must add an even number on the right hand side and that is how this 4 plus 3 7 mod of 2 is also coming out to be 1 right so in this particular example if i choose all the items because while generating a subsequence you know that you can either uh, leave that item or select that item while moving from left to right and so you will get 2 to the power n possibilities and one of those possibilities is when you select all of these items and uh, so if you selected all of these items then it is following the rule whatever is mentioned and this is of the longest length because we needed to return the length of the longest valid subsequence of the nums and this is already of the longest length and that is why 4 is the answer so you must understand that if you have window uh, with the two items a and b what can be the cases a can be odd or even b can be odd or even right and whatever is c c can also be odd or even so depending on if these both are even then c when this is sliding to the right c must be even if it is odd then it cannot be included in the same subsequence right it is not a valid subsequence and if these both are odd then this c must be odd otherwise it will not be a valid subsequence else if you say that if this first a was even if this a was even and this b was odd then this c in the subsequence must be even if it is odd then uh, you know what will happen if it is odd then when you slide one time then you will get two odd numbers and it will add up to become an even number right even number so even number mod of 2 will be 0 whereas even plus odd mod of 2 will be 1 so this will become invalid right so the alternating should always happen as even odd even odd even odd or in the other uh, way around odd even odd even odd even right this is the alternating pattern that you should get otherwise if it is not alternating then all the values must be even or all the values must be odd these are the only three cases either all the values are odd all the values are even or all the values are alternating right so i hope you have understood all these three cases and you have also understood the problem statement looking at the constraint you can make it out that this is not a recursion problem 
because if the time complexity is 2 to the power n this will be huge because even 2 to the power 30 will become 10 to the power of 9 okay which is out of bound your bound is 10 to the power 8 which is equivalent to one second so i need to do it within 10 to the power 8 operations so looking at the constraints even you cannot write an n square algorithm because that will become four times of 10 to the power of 10 right so i need to write an order of n error n log n algorithm in the worst case it has to be better than that right okay now that you have understood you can also look that each of the item is a positive integer from 1 to 10 to the power of 7 now i hope the problem statement is clear let's look at the observation in this case if you are given an array i have mentioned it from a to i then if i take a subsequence a c d g h then you know that in this case they are asking about two adjacent items having the same parity parity means odd or even parity so in this case if a plus c a plus c mod of 2 comes out to be one parity let's say it is one which is odd parity then if you lose this a the parity of d must be the same as what was the parity of a if a was odd then the uh, d has to be odd if a was even then this d has to be even irrespective of whatever the c was and if you do the next time sliding then you are losing this c and adding this g so the parity of c and g should be equal again when you slide then the parity of d and h should be equal so you see that A, D, H's parity must be same, C and G's parity must be same. So they must be alternating or they must be all same. So the cases that we have already seen is all of them can be even or all of these numbers can have odd parity or they can have alternating parity starting with even or starting with odd. These are the only three cases that can arise, even, odd and alternating parity. Because the possible outputs are only 0 or 1 if you take mod of 2 with the two adjacent numbers in a subsequence i hope this is clear let's talk about the alternating subsequence if you have a subsequence which is derived from a given array and it is given in the form of a graph where the top part is showing that it has odd parity and the bottom part is saying that it is it is having even parity then where will you uh, start counting the alternating uh, subsequence will it be at this point p1 well, if you start here, then you will be counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means 6 items. But if you had started right in the beginning, starting with the odd parity, whatever was the parity of array at 0, if you had started there, then you will be getting one more count in the alternating pattern as compared to if you had started at the second position or any later position, right? For the same reason, if you look at the second graph, if you start at second index or any later index starting with an odd parity then you will be having one two three four five items in the alternating pattern but if you had started at array at zero whatever is the parity like let's say it was even then you will get plus one that means one extra one two three four five six now instead of getting just five so what does these two examples denote it denotes that if you start with array at zero whatever is its parity whether it is odd or it is even it does not matter you will always get the longest alternating subsequence there exists okay so it's always greedily the best option to start alternating subsequence at array at zero i hope it is clear once you have understood this let's now uh, use the tracking of the maximum length using the all three cases and we will be moving from left to right so we have to uh, check for the odd count, even count to see uh, if I had taken some items which had even parity, all of them can be combined together to form an even subsequence which will always be valid. And the same goes for the odd numbers as well. If there were odd numbers lying together, then you can take out all the odd numbers and you can combine them all odd, odd, odd and triple odd to get a valid odd subsequence right or you can also alternate them odd even odd even odd even and so on right so i will be covering these three cases i'll be starting with the first item and since the first item is even the odd count will be zero even count will be one alternating number will always start with array at zero so i started it with uh, this even number and the count will be one and and the next flag 
that means the next number to be expected in the even odd parity would be if you had included an even number like let's say you had included even number then the next one should be an odd number if you include an odd number next one should be an even number right so expecting even will be false because you have already taken an even number so the next one should be odd so i'm not expecting even number now let's go to the next item and start looping from index number one so this is an even number odd count will not change even count will change to two and alternating count you check the flag so the flag is saying i'm not expecting even number so no change will happen go to odd number odd count will increase expecting event is false so mark it as true and increase the alternating count because we were expecting an odd number and now the odd number has been taken so the next one we will be expecting an even number now let's go to this three okay three is odd so this odd count will increase and then uh, the alternating count this is saying true that means i'm expecting an even number not an odd number even number is coming event count will increase i'm expecting an even number uh, so the even count that that means the alternating count will increase and the expecting event will become false go to the next even number so this even number uh, is will increase the even count to four but it will not be added to alternating count because we are expecting an odd number odd number is coming odd count will increase increase the alternating count to four and start expecting an even number even number comes even count will increase and since we are expecting even number even number count to, i mean the alternating count will increase and mark the expecting even item as false now go to this three the odd count will increase to four and since this is odd and the flag is false therefore the alternating count will become six and mark the next expecting number is even number right and then move forward now once you are done take all the cases four five six and take the maximum of it the four here represents that if you had taken all the odd numbers together all the odd numbers what are the odd numbers one three and uh, seven three so if you are taken all these odd numbers there will be four odd numbers so you can make maximum size subsequence of size four where all of them are odd Similarly, for even numbers, you can check the rest of them are all even numbers, which is of size 5. So you would have taken 2, 4, 6, 8, 4. And that would give you even parity in the subsequence. But if you take the alternating count, it will be 6. That means if you take the alternating subsequence, then you can make odd even parity or even odd parity alternating of size 6. And this is the longest out of all these three cases. And therefore, the answer in this case will be 6, right? So I hope this idea is clear. If you see this, then we have iterated through this entire array exactly one time and we have taken four variables. That is why the time complexity is order of n, space complexity is order of one. I hope it is clear. Let's now look at the code. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the nums array and I'll be finding the size of the array and taking the three cases odd count even count and alternating count with a boolean expecting even as true if the first number is odd otherwise if the first number is even then the next number e expected uh, will be odd and that is why expecting event will be false right now I'll be iterating for all the numbers from index 1 and if I see that I am expecting an even number and I see an even number or I'm expecting an odd number and I see a, an odd number then the alternate count will increase and the expecting even will be toggled that means if I was expecting an even number, then I will be expecting next as an odd number. Or if I was expecting an odd number, then I will be expecting next as an even number, right? And if the number is odd, then you increase the odd count, otherwise increase the even count. And finally, we will take the maximum of all the three cases, even parity, odd parity and alternating parity and return the maximum of them. So this will give you... Uh, the final result and i hope it is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video thank you